Hello potential student, thank you for watching this video and thank you for clicking on this course. This course is intended for game developers that wish to start freelancing. As a top rated Fiverr seller, I can tell you exactly what clients require these days. Instead of focusing on game development, clients actually require a full stack solution these days. Now, of course, in this course, we won't be using any, any framework that will help us make a backend, a complete backend solution. This is not what we, are, we will be doing. We'll instead be using Playfeb and Photon to create a multiplayer game. And we will use Playfeb as a backend so we can store user data, we can authenticate users, and we can also update leaderboards after creating them. Even if you do not wish to start freelancing, the Playfeb and the Photon plugin that is used in this course will help you develop interesting multiplayer games with user accounts. And that is required for game development these days. What you see in front of you right now is basically the game that we will develop. So if you take a look, we have a complete login system over here, which is using Playfeb as a backend. We will also be able to send verification emails to the users that sign up or registered. Right now I'm logging in because this user has already registered. The leaderboards are empty right now because, well, I had to delete them to and reset them. You'll see only this leaderboard over here, but there in, in the course, during the course, you will find that the leaderboard is going to be full and you will see that how to use Playfeb to make leaderboards and how to update leaderboards. So that's what you're going to learn. Other than that, you will also learn how to create a complete friend system, which is actually required. Now, I think this user has no friends. Oh, this user actually has one friend. So this is a complete friend system with a send user request, send friend request, accept request and reject request system. So you will have that in this game. This is very important as nobody is completing, is, is creating a friend system right now. So in this, in this course, you will actually learn how to create a friend system using Playfab as a backend. And this is something that nobody's doing currently. So if I go online, I can actually select any player. So for demonstration, I'm going to select this player over here. And I'm also going to log in on this, on this user. And I'm going to basically simply start playing the game. And I'll show you what the game is. The game itself is not very exciting because the main purpose is to teach you uh, game development, all the game development services that you need to offer if you wish to if you wish to basically start uh, offering your services and start making making money as a freelancer. So that's what we will be doing over here. So right now you'll see that I've logged in successfully. We're using another uh, user account and I'll go online over here and I'll select a female character so that you can, you know, differentiate between this character and that character. And I'm going to go and search for a game over here and you'll see using the Photon multiplayer plugin, these players are going to connect. Now, of course, like I stated, the, the level itself is not very exciting. But that's not the main purpose of this course. The purpose of this course is to teach you about lag compensation, is to teach you about how multiplayer connections work. So if I go over here and I and I just put this character over here, you'll see that the the player movement is being synced across the network and there is little to no lag almost because this is what we will be doing in this course. So I can also update the player wins if I go over here. And if I try to hit the wind collider, by the way, this is just so that you can see the wind collider. If I hit this, you will see that this is how you manage states in a game, in, in a game like this. So we will actually be using this system to update the player wins and player losses on Playfeb. And we will also be handling everything that happens in the multiplayer game when a player wins, how you send them back to the main menu and how you send the other player who has lost back to the main menu as well. So that is something that we will learn. Thank you very much for watching this video and hopefully I'll see you in the lectures.